Hey everybody, Christopher Mink for Everything iCafe, and today we're going to show you how to set up an iPhone. So first thing you're going to want to do is slide to the right. So we'll just slide that over like so, and now you're going to select your language. Um, you've got a number of different choices here. As you uh, select this down arrow, I'm going to select Eng English. Can't even say it. Jeez. Um, now you're going to select your location. I am also located in the United States. So, you know, this all looks good. So I'm going to select United States and click on next. Now we get into lo location services. Now location services allows maps, camera, and other applications to use your location to find um, a more personal experience between you and your iPhone. Uh, your iPhone will use GPS along with crowdsourced Wi-Fi data to kind of pinpoint where you are. Um, a number of applications use this. Maps, Compass, Camera and Photos, Weather, Reminders, Find My iPhone, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, I definitely recommend turning it on. You can always disable it later, but for this purpose, let's uh, enable location services. And we'll click Next. And now it's going to ask you if you're, um, you've got a Wi-Fi network. In this case, I do have a Wi-Fi network, so I'm going to quickly just move this aside and come back when we have the password entered. And there we have it. So now it's going to log into my Wi-Fi network. I'll be connected when I'm at home to my Wi-Fi network. I won't be using the 3G. And... We want to click on next. It's going to ask me if I want to set up using Wi-Fi, which I've already done. And now it's already activated my iPhone. Now that can take up to five minutes. Um, as you notice here, it was really, really quick. Next step, we're going to continue with the setup. And you have three options here. Set up as new iPhone, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes backup. Um, since we're setting this up as a new iPhone, we're going to select set up as new iPhone and click next. Now you're going to set up an Apple ID or you're going to sign in with your existing ID. Now your Apple ID is used to set up iCloud, the App Store, iTunes, and more on your iPhone. Uh, if you've previously set up an, an account in iTunes, you'll want to use that login information here. It's essentially to buy apps and music and associate it with your account. Now that we've logged in, uh, we have a rather lengthy terms and conditions. Now, uh, you could certainly read this. You could uh, send it to yourself via email. Um, I'm going to just recommend that you click on agree, and then we can move to the next step, which is um, whether or not you want to use iCloud. And I certainly recommend you use iCloud. Uh, iCloud will store all your content wirelessly, and it will push it to all your devices. So if you make a change on your iPhone, changes are automatically made across all your devices. This includes automatic app downloads, pushing new photos over Wi-Fi to your photo stream. It also allows you to keep your email, contacts, calendars, and documents up to date across all of your devices. So um, definitely recommend using iCloud. And one of the services that you can use once you select using iCloud is iCloud Backup. iCloud Backup essentially backs up your purchased music, apps, and books. It will also back up your photos and videos in your camera roll. Um, other things that it backs up, your settings, your app data, how you organize your home screen, messages, and ringtones. Uh, it provides you with five gigabytes of free storage and your purchase content doesn't count towards that five gigabytes. And should you need more storage, you can also purchase that from Apple. So uh, definitely recommended. It's a personal choice whether or not you wanna back up to iCloud or back up to your computer. Uh, make that selection and then let's move on to find my iPhone. Uh, this is a great service. If your iPhone is missing, you can use find my iPhone to locate it using any Mac, iPad, or another iPhone. Uh, you can display a message to the finder. If somebody finds your phone, you can send them a message like, um, I have a reward for my iPhone. Or you could lock the screen with a passcode, and you can even remotely wipe all the data on your iPhone. Uh, you would expect the service to cost money, but it's actually free. So highly recommend this. Should you lose your iPhone, you can locate it. Um, next up is Siri. Uh, Siri is Apple's personal assistant. It's available only on the iPhone 4S. And by pressing and, home, pressing and holding the home button, you can speak naturally and ask Siri for help. Uh, Siri can make phone calls, dictate text, send and respond to text messages or emails. You can also use Siri to set up meetings, get the weather forecast, or find restaurants in your area. Now that we've uh, 
gotten past Siri and hopefully you've enabled it. We're going to move on to diagnostics and usage. Essentially, Apple's he asking here if they can collect uh, different uh, data usage and maybe even location data just basically to improve upon their products. Now you have an option here to automatically send or don't send. You can always make a change later and then click next. And that's it. Your iPhone is completely set up. You're ready to start using your iPhone. Start having fun. If you get stuck on something, feel free to ask a question in the comments. And we have a great community at everythingicafe.com filled with experts and over 120,000 members. So feel free to stop by and uh, that's it. Thanks for joining us. Been Christopher Mink for everythingicafe.com.